Hi friends! Welcome back to my channel, you guys. I'm with Michelle in the car. Hello. I also got a haircut today, so um, yeah. I'm, I don't know how I feel about it too much yet, but we, we... Thanks, best friend. I told her that she looks best with short hair. Um, it also saves me a lot of time, what so... Time? You want to talk about time. <laughs> you want to go there. She want to roast me. <laughs> Today is a really, really exciting video, you guys. I've never done one of these on my channel before. We are going to our first buffet together. Woo! And who else would I bring other than my bestie girl, Hi. bestie sister, Hi. sister Fran. <laughs> We're going to this buffet um, called Seven, the Seven Seas Buffet. We've never been here before. It's our first time. So we all get to experience it together. Uh, they're known for their seafood. They're open from 5 to 9.30 every day, I believe. So I'm assuming that it's just all going to be about seafood, which I'm really, really excited about because you guys know I love my seafood. So that is what we're doing today. Um, hopefully it's good so I can recommend it to you guys. I'm really, really nervous because I was like looking on Yelp and I, I don't know, it was just mixed reviews. I really don't know how to feel about it. It's not a five star. Um, I forgot how many stars they have. Do you remember? I don't. We'll have to look when we get there, but I mean... We'll just give you a total rundown of the place and hopefully we can recommend it to you guys because Michelle and I are all about buffets. That's why we go to Vegas because mm -hmm. we eat buffets there and we order room service and that's literally all we do. Literally. <laughs> so um, if you guys are into buffets, make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below if you've been here before and we'll see you guys there. I don't know if you guys can see, but the sky is very pretty today. Um, also, Michelle and I just realized we used to eat in this plaza, but it's not called the same anymore, huh, Michelle? Uh-uh. Oh, it's called pho, yeah. Yeah. Chicken pho. Oh, is that what it means? Yeah. Yeah, it's chicken. Yeah. Yeah. We used to eat in there. It used to be this place called Tra House or something. Yeah. Back in, like, you know, like, our early 20s. Like, early 20s. <laughs> real early, like, freshly, like, 20. Like, yeah. just finished 19. Yeah. <laughs> We haven't been there in a while. Are they even open? Oh my god, they look like they shut down. Yeah, I don't know. Wow, I don't know. Is it in here? Yeah. Oh look, boiling right. crab is here. There's a boiling crab in here. So it looks like the seven seas. Oh, I see it. It's in the corner. Where? That way? Yeah. So it looks like the seven seas buffet is in the same plaza. So if you guys don't like it, you can leave here and go to boiling crab. There you go. They have really good seafood boils Problem there. Problem solved. Okay, we have arrived. We have arrived. <laughs> no one's here. Michelle, no one is oh, here. Wait, are they open? They're shoot. open, right? Yeah, they're open. It's right here. They so, are open. So it's at the other end of Boiling Crab. Mm -hmm. Do you know what? From the judgment of the outside, it's looking kind of sketchy, but <laughs> it's okay. I got Pepto Bismol at home. Oh, gosh. <laughs> okay, guys, we are going to film our. Oh my gosh, this camera's heavy. <laughs> No wonder I am not a YouTuber. <laughs> We're going to film our assumptions for this place before we walk in. Okay. What What do you... Like what? Are you going to do like overall rating? Well, I don't know. Like... We're, we're, we're literally judging it from the outside. Okay, well, first of all, no one is in there. We are the first people to be in there. Yeah. And it's probably because it opened at 5 and it's only 5.30. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. And it's a Monday. And it's a Monday. Okay, so we'll take that into consideration. But it is like the smallest buffet I've ever seen like ever it looks pretty tiny like that's it that's yeah. the buffet and parking's um parking's a little tight because they share the parking lot with like uh six thousand other yeah. stores so parking's a little tight and then um turning in and turning out it was kind of like dangerous so be careful yeah it's a busy road okay that's so good. so oh, sorry. so is that it is that the, all the yeah. assumptions we have well that's all we know from the outside do we think it'll be good oh i don't know I'm nervous. From what you've seen, do you think it'll be good? From what I've seen, they have like a lobster tower, and that's all that matters to me. Okay, let's go. Oh, and I'm going to judge them on their butter. Oh, okay. Let's okay. go. Okay. okay, this is what it looks like from the outside. Okay. Do you smell anything? I don't know. There's restaurants here. Just kidding. <laughs> do that.
Okay, you guys, so my first plate, I got fried rice, trying the sushi. They have uh, some spring rolls, chicken, and then we have some frog legs, uh, glass noodles, and then crab. We got some escargot there, and then we have some crawfish, and then I got some mussels, crab, uh, snow crab legs, oyster, and Michelle's trying their sushi. <laughs> <laughs> Nice and hot. It's not like warm. Mm -hmm. They keep it hot. Mm -hmm. Oh no. A plus on the seafood. Next to the snails, there's a lemongrass uh, lemongrass fish sauce. It's really delicious. I got a little roll because it's cute. Oh, look the little roll. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. Try the spring rolls. the other lettuce. No, I know what you're talking about. You know, Is that um, iceberg lettuce? It's iceberg lettuce and it should like be iceberg lettuce. It should be the other lettuce. Because it gives it more color. Yeah. But it also just tastes better. And then the, this one has This one isn't bad because it has the piece of um, ham. Mm. Yeah, everyone has it. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. You like that roll? Mm. Yeah, I would do the other lettuce. This is frog leg. Mmm. Good? Mmm. This is their chicken. It's not like real tissue chicken, but it's really good. <laughs> Mussels. Mm. The mussels are good, Michelle. Oh, really? Yeah. Muscle to have hair? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
Crawfish is nice and big. It's not bad, but it's seasoned like very Asian, mm, like sweet. Oh yeah. And I just think crawfish tastes better uh, like Cajun style. So it's a little bit of like a taste adjust, a judge, adjustment. <laughs> it's like super sweet. Oh really? Yeah. It's like very Asian. Asian sweet seasoning. That's hard because then not a lot of people will like it. Mm -hmm. But it'll definitely gravitate towards like the Asian customers. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I'm like in love with the snails over here. <laughs> Honestly, I think the snails are the winner for us. Mm -hmm. I think the snails are the only thing that makes it really worth it, I guess. Yeah. But then you can go to the ABC market and buy a pound of this and make it at home. Yeah. is not scared to get down and dirty at buffets. Mm -hmm. Hey, is it just me or am I killing it? You're really killing it. The other day where you were not killing it. <laughs> no. <laughs> but that wasn't you, it was them. <laughs> you should have them ready. And just the waiting. Just waiting for my butter. Mmm. Do you think they're melting the butter right now? Yeah, I think that's what's going on. <laughs> you know what it is? Probably like, oh crap, we forgot. The snow crabs are pretty big. Yeah, I was just about to say the same. That's how she feels about Carlos. <laughs> He doesn't do what I say. <laughs> oh, I was telling you, I was looking at my old vlog. Oh, yes, yes, and yes. back in January when you guys just started, I don't know why we Starting were, what? Like dating? Just started dating. Oh. Like you were talking to my vlog and you were like, I just started dating this guy. <laughs> I was like, what? Wait, in your vlog? So long ago, yeah. In your vlog? And you were like, and the Eagles won the Super Bowl or something? No. Or in the Super Bowl or something, and you were like excited, and I was like, "Oh my gosh, oh my this is like in the beginning." That's so weird. And now they're old hags that don't come out to play. <laughs> hey, don't talk about me in front of my face. <laughs> hey, you guys, I'm not gonna lie. I think I'm just gonna go back to more snow from. <laughs> Nothing else really impresses me. My mom yells at people who get french fries at buffets. You know what, I just have to get two. Like, I just need two. I'm killing it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna laugh if the butter comes out and then you can't get it anymore. Mm. You're 
like a cat. <laughs> it's not too salty. I think they're definitely melting the butter. They're right melting now. butter right now. I just asked if there was butter. I did not request for them to melt butter for me. <laughs> right. Oh, so you just asked, is there butter? Yeah. So you didn't specify. That's what you mean by you legit didn't specify. Because usually next to snow crab, there's butter. Is that an American thing? Yes, butter and seafood. Yes, it's very American. It's so American. Well, I used to not be into it. Yeah. And then what happened? But it tastes so good. Was it that one day at lunch? Oh my god, I'm killing it. <laughs> Michelle's over here sucking every single snail. Literally. You like it, huh? It's good. Well, and I feel like I've been wanting to feast on snail for a while. Mm. By the time the butter comes out, I'll be done. Mm -hmm. Yes, you will be. Oh, I didn't kill it. What did he forgot? No comment. <laughs> what? He said, what if he forgot? I don't think he did. I think we have like 30 seconds to go with the butter. What if he's like in the car on his way to Ralph's right now to get butter? Honestly, Michelle, we should have gone on a weekend, Bubs. Maybe we'll come back on a weekend and show you guys the lobster. Okay. Sometimes I just want unlimited lobster. I hate the things that make you pay more because it's the weekend and there's lobster, but they only limit you to like one. Oh my god, what if that's the case? No. No, because if it's a tower. Yeah, they forgot to get butter. Is that butter? Mm hmm. He's getting you butter. He's getting you butter. Oh my god. You're about to bolt out the <laughs> Wait, chair. so we came too early, they forgot the butter. So. Okay, so the butter is out. Butter is this. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, when I was at getting the crab, there was no butter. Yeah, okay. So they brought out the butter. Butter? Butter. <laughs> Michelle can't talk. Let's see if the butter is good. Is it wham? Yeah, it's wham. <laughs> I gotta translate that. Watermelon. Watermelon. Oh, are watermelons even in season right now? Mum. Mm. Very good. Really? Do you not like watermelons? Um, I'm picky with my watermelon. You may be wondering, how do you get picky with watermelon? The seeds? Yeah. I have a texture problem. So it's because you got a haircut. <laughs> but it's so sweet. Watermelon is good for you. Hydrating. You need hydration. No, you don't. They're facing so fine. Not so undeserving though.
Bahia. Bahia. Não mora, não. Não mora, não. Eu não sei se eu tenho uma grande You like you're on a date. You like I'm on a date? Yeah. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. He's walking out the door. <laughs> Just kidding. Carlos stayed. <laughs> Surprisingly. <laughs> Or is it that you stayed? <laughs> I stayed. Because both y'all nasty. Why are you hating? Oh, because I'm single. <laughs> Alright, we're in the bathroom. Because I know you guys are curious and this is the first thing I look at when I go to a restaurant. Um, it smells amazing. They have a candle burning. Oh my gosh, this door opens, I'm dead. Dead. <laughs> There's two stalls. Not too bad. Nice and clean, spacious. Not bad. I mean, we've got a little situation. It's not horrible, you guys. I thought it was gonna be bigger and fancier. <laughs> Michelle. <laughs> not bad. It's nice and clean. I mean, it's clean. It's not like perfection clean, but it's not I bad. It's a water fountain. Oh God, <laughs> Michelle. <laughs> Hello, man. Hello. Hello, Riley. Okay, friends, we are finally home. Pros and cons, and then we're gonna start watching The Bachelor, which we're really excited about. Even though we already found out who the new Bachelorette is, leave a comment and let me know how you feel about the new Bachelorette. <laughs> <laughs> we're not like too excited about it, but yeah. Why is it? It's like some some girl from like five seasons ago. Oh. Yeah, like we don't really know who she is, but I think I'm gonna give the season a try, you know? You always say that. You always <laughs> like I get really invested. Hi, old man. Oh, I know I love you so much. Okay, so. The boys love her. <laughs> I think one of the biggest cons for me was it wasn't. Variety? Like, Versatile, is it? No, not versatile. Variety, right? Variety. Yeah. Like, I felt like it was very focused in on like Vietnamese cuisine. Yeah, and everything was flavored very Vietnamese. Mm -hmm. Um, I I wish personally, since it was advertised to me as like a seafood buffet, I wish there were more seafood choices, as in like what people really go to buffets for, which is like. Lobster, like crab legs, which they had, but it was just mussels, crab legs, and oysters. Usually, and like crawfish, but usually other places have way more options. Um, I'm glad there was sushi. Yeah. I know Michelle was like really like not worried, but she was kind of hoping yeah. that there was gonna be sushi. Um, I don't know. I just it just just didn't really hit the spot for me. I don't think. That's Cooper, by the way. I don't think I would pay $25 again to go on a weekday, but I think what Michelle and I might do is we might pay $35, so it's $10 more on the weekends, and you get unlimited whole lobster. Like, it's like a tower of lobster. Yeah. So I think that's what would make it worth it for us on the weekends, because the other buffet we go to, they don't have unlimited lobster like that. That is like really extravagant for a buffet. It is unlimited? Yeah, yeah. in Orange County. So, um, and obviously, it's a buffet in Orange County. Like, you can't really compare it to a buffet in Las Vegas where you're gonna get, like, like towers. Everything. Yeah, like towers and towers of seafood yeah. and be like, oh my God, this is so worth it. And then what I saw on their Yelp was, I think on the weekend sometimes, they even have towers of Dungeness crab. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So they definitely change their menu for weekends. Yeah, so I think not just with this place, but with any any buffet places, yeah. I would definitely recommend going there on the weekends at night. There's going to be a lot of people, but the options are way better, and you're going to pay that extra money. It's going to be so worth it. Right. Um, I mean, I'm not a big dessert person, uh -huh. but I thought their dessert selection oh, was small. Yeah, you're right. I agree with Michelle on that one. The dessert and the fruit 
selection was a little bit small. Yeah. Um, one of y'all farted, and I know it was one of you. <laughs> it wasn't me. What else? Oh! Oh! You oh it? my god! It's definitely Riley. Mm. What did he eat? Riley farted. Riley. Oh. <laughs> we loved that we paid before we sat down. Yeah. So then after you were done eating, you, <laughs> you, you, you. Yeah. after we're done eating, we can just get up and leave. I thought customer service was amazing. Yeah. I thought it was super amazing. They're really friendly. Super friendly. If you need anything, you just kind of let them know. They clear the table really fast, which I look for in a buffet because yeah, people should be walking around clearing the tables because everybody's going to get up and get more food. So you want to make sure there's room on the table, especially at buffets. The bathroom was clean. Mm -hmm. um, everything was so clean. The food and everything was clean. It was covered with lids, which I appreciate. The food wasn't just laying out there. Um, and there was constantly someone always walking around, like cleaning the place and making sure everything was tidy. It just didn't look messy. I they, think, oh, sorry. sorry. They also constantly were like refilling their foods. Yes, so yeah. everything was super fresh. They mentioned that they opened a month ago, so they're still fairly pretty new. I mean, personally for me, I think, I wouldn't go back on a weekday at all. Yeah. But I definitely think Michelle and I will go back on a week a weekend and see what the seafood is all about. It's unlimited lobster, yeah. Hey. Yeah. So on the weekday, I it's not something that I look forward to. I wouldn't use my money there. All right, friends, we're going to go watch The Bachelor. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Leave a comment down below and let me know if you've ever been there. I think if we're gonna do buffet, a buffet series, we gotta hit it up on the weekends. Yes. Like, there's no way we should be going on a Monday night during the weekday. No. So, um, we did it wrong. Yeah, we did it totally wrong. But yeah, we're gonna head back on the weekend and see, we might even do it this weekend. We'll head back on the weekends and see if the lobster is, you know, what they're talking about and if it's worth 30, I think it's $35. Yeah, oh, 34 99 right? Free drinks, Michelle, free oh, drinks. Yes. Free drinks. The drinks were free. Were they unlimited? You know, they didn't specify. Yeah, they didn't give us details. But the lady went over. Okay, so their drinks isn't a drink fountain. It comes from a can. Yeah. So I saw a lady literally <laughs> walk over to the refrigerator and start grabbing cans. We weren't sure if that was legal. So, so I don't know. But the drinks are included or are free. Um, but yeah, I think... Oh, oh yeah. sorry. To mention, you do get charged if you oh. don't finish your food so be careful with that if you don't finish your food you get charged but i think we're gonna head back on a weekend and give you guys like a better review but like if you're thinking oh it's a weekday we don't know what to do for dinner i wouldn't go i would just take that 25 dollars and go somewhere else yeah eat something good good uh. good <laughs> all right you guys i'll see you back here tomorrow with a brand new video leave a comment down below let us know if there's any other series you guys want us to do, maybe other places, other things you want us to try. And give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you then. Bye, my loves. Thumbs up.